walk through these quickly. The first one is, is this really a pilot? And yes, it most definitely is. Um, this is a, a new configuration, but it is designed, again, so that everything can be removed. And um, we'll be assessing this to see what needs to be adjusted or removed along the way. And we've had a lot of questions about the cost. So we are looking at approximately 155000 This does include many materials that can be reused throughout the city and other locations if we need to remove it from North Avenue. And just to compare, our annual street and sidewalk budget is $2.4 million. We've also had a lot of questions about the driving times. And um, there will be some slight increases in the travel times. But right now, um, in the two sections of the four-lane roadway, the first section, 46% of the traffic is currently speeding. In the northern section, 86% of the traffic is currently speeding. So if you're one of those cars, yeah, switch it. All right, 86% in the southernmost section, 46% <laughs> in the uppermost section. Um, then your travel times are likely to increase. You're currently speeding. We want you to drive slower. <laughs> um, but at most, what we're estimating that is during rush hour, this is going to be a one to two minute change on average. Another question is, um, is traffic safety really an issue? And um, we do have links to the VTRANS um, crash summary, so anybody can search the crash data. But um, looking at their comparisons, they, they basically they look at high crash locations throughout the state. And the crash rate on North Avenue is significantly higher than similar roads statewide. So again, there are a couple of locations that they've identified as high crash locations. And we would like to resolve that issue. Nicole? Yeah. I've heard people ask if the, the crashes in the shopping centers are including the that data. Is that, that is a good question. So if you didn't hear that, um, uh, there have been questions about any crashes occurring in the shopping center parking lot and if those are included in the data. And the answer is no, those should not be included. When officers collect the crash reports, they're able to code the location in a way that we're able to separate out. Is it private property or is it on the roadway? Um, why can't bikes use the sidewalks? So. Sidewalks right now are five feet wide. If someone is going to share the sidewalk with people walking by, we should widen it to 10 feet so that they can safely pass each other. And that would be a shared use path. Um, another concern is that while it may seem safer to ride a bike on a sidewalk, in locations where there are a lot of cross streets, where there are a lot of driveways, other obstructions, where there may be conflicts, it's an area that um, it brings some concern about having a shared use path there. So it would take some special design. Doesn't mean we're totally ruling it out. This process and this project will help us determine if an on-road or off-road facility is really the best alternative. If the on-road facilities don't work well, we can still look at other options for off-road facilities. But it does take a little bit more design and planning. Uh, another question we get frequently is, how will I pass a bus or a recycle truck on this roadway? Basically, you can either wait until they're done and you can keep moving, or you can pass if it's safe to do so. This happens frequently throughout the city now, on Colchester Avenue, on Pine Street, any location that is a transit route, or anywhere that you encounter a recycle truck on the roadway now. And can I park on the street? So in the locations that currently have parking for the duration of the pilot project, the parking will be removed. Except in front of St. Mark's Church, thank you. Um, so we are retaining the parking directly in front of St. Mark's Church. So what do these changes really mean for you? Um, again, we're hoping for less speeding, more 30 mile an hour travel. Um, and with that, there will be slower travel, um, one to two minutes at rush hour, and hopefully more opportunities for walking and biking. Hopefully people will feel safer, feel more comfortable getting out on the roadway. <laughs>